is that when Jesus Christ, after he suffered physically and went through everything he went through and, and, and shedding his blood and being crucified and dying on the cross, that's not the end of his sacrifice that he made was not just left on the cross. His sacrifice continued on beyond the cross. The, the, the payment that was being made for our sins continued beyond the cross. And, and one of the things that the point that I left off on that a lot of people will turn to when, when dealing with this subject, and just to get it out there, you know, I believe that the Bible very, very clearly teaches that Jesus Christ's soul went to hell and that when the Bible talks about hell, it's never, ever one time referenced as a positive place or even as a neutral place. It is never once a place that anyone would ever want to be all throughout the Bible. It's very consistent. It is not a good place to be ever at all. So when Jesus Christ's soul went to hell, it was not there to pay a visit. Jesus bare the sins of the whole world in his own body. He was crucified on the tree. He came to pay the punishment for our sins. The punishment for our sins is hell. Amen. That, that's what it is. If you die without Christ, because of your sins, you go to hell. And Jesus came to pay for our sins. Guess what he did? He paid for our sins in hell. I'm going to prove that to you tonight. Now, there is an opposing view brought forth by other Bible believers. I don't care what other people teach and believe that are not saved, but there are people that I know that are saved that are wrong on this doctrine. And what they teach is this concept, and I'm going to go a little bit into this, but I'm going to spend the majority of my time just going over the scripture, just teaches what it teaches. Not spending as much time debunking what other people think or believe, because what really matters is just what does the Bible actually say? Let's just go with what the Bible says. And we could really go into multiple whole length sermons debunking all of the reasons why what they believe is false. And what they believe is that when Jesus died, when it says he went soul into hell, he didn't actually go to like the burning fiery part and like was suffering. So one of the things that people have a big problem with is when you say that Jesus Christ's soul suffered in hell. You have to admit that it went to hell because we're going to get to that in a minute. The Bible is very clear that his soul went to hell. No doubt about it. But people say, oh, you can't believe he suffered in hell. Yes, I can, because everybody that goes to hell suffers in hell. I mean, that's what hell is. And I'll, I'll cover some of the, the verses that people get confused by. But basically what the other notion is out there, the other teaching is that when he died, he went to, this, to paradise. He went to Abraham's bosom, is what some people will say. They'll, that's what they'll call it. This, this compartment of hell that is not a torturous car, but that's where the Old Testament saints went before Jesus rose again from the dead. And then when Jesus rose again from the dead, then all of the Old Testament saints, all those that were saved beforehand, all transported up into heaven. That is very easily debunked. We have examples of two people in the Old Testament that we know for a fact went to heaven. Elijah, one of them, went to heaven by a whirlwind in a chariot. Okay, he, was, he was literally went up into heaven. And we know that Enoch was, was no more when he was translated and he walked with God. Okay? And what, uh, what more do you need? Paradise, and we could go through, I've done this in the past in other sermons. There's three references to the word paradise. You're never going to find any mention of paradise being in hell. In fact, all, all you're going to find if you look in, into history is, is a quote from Adolf Hitler saying that you know, and I forget what the quote is, but, but basically, if you, if you repeat a lie you know, often enough, you could get people to believe that, that paradise is in hell or hell is paradise or something like that. And I don't remember the exact quote, but I think it's just kind of interesting that he's got this quote out there that, that basically can sum up what believers are teaching about hell. 